Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> Look at all these kids. Scott Novosel has quite a tale to tell his young audience. It's about dreams, okay? We're going to talk about my dream, my true story, and about how I achieved it. He's an author. Right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A former Japanese rap star. Oh, I know. Tanjo Beach, Gatsuniji, Sanichi. Ego ka, Nihongo, Dochi demo, Ira yo. And a celebrated KU walk on who tells his inspirational story in a new book, Fieldhouse. I'm so proud to say that I only played one year, man, because it's just such a lesson in persistence. For three years, Novacell battled for a spot on Roy Williams' roster. So I had one year left, okay? And that summer, I worked as hard as I could. I would go up and wait for hours on end. They'd be playing pickup at Allen Fieldhouse. And I would literally like wait an hour and a half before I'd even get in a game. And then once I got in the game, no one passed to me anyway. Finally, his senior year, the dream came true. I ran as fast as I could to the tryout results board. I heard clapping and it got more and more and more. My name was on the board. I had done it. I Novacell got into a total of 14 games during the 94-95 season, including one magical start on senior night against Oklahoma State, with the conference title on the line. We see number five there, Scott Novacell, a walk-on from Leewood, Kansas. What a thrill it is for him today. They had a guy named Randy Rutherford. Rutherford was awesome. And so on Rutherford, he wrote my name. I'll never forget this. Everybody looked at each other. We we're all like, oh my God, because you know he was a superstar. For the two minutes I got in there, I, I had a couple assists, which you know I was so proud of. Of, and then Randy Rutherford didn't score. All right, so then Jared Haas came in, and this is when the joke starts because Jared Haas came in, and then Randy Rutherford went on to score 45 points that night. Novosel made the most of his start and his exit. So listen to the hand for the walk on from Leewood, Kansas. Chris Piper on the broadcast said he's never seen a player so excited to come out of a game. But I was so pumped up, and that night I went home, I was like, man, this could be a movie or a book. and. I thought, Fieldhouse. His post-KU travels took him to Japan to run a basketball program. And between his work as a coach and a singer, he was hit with an idea. I started reading these Japanese comic books called manga. And there was one in particular, it was called Ice Shield 21. And it had like, it, it, it was about football. And you know, the Japanese, they don't know football. So it taught them about football in there. And I thought, man, I could put like, like sports psych stuff in here. So it'd be like teaching them about self-improvement along the way with this story. And I thought, okay, all I gotta do is find a writer and then I'm gonna do this thing. And now his second dream has come true. Fieldhouse is a reality. I've literally went across, around the world to get this book done, so. <laughs> and the former walk-on is more than happy to share his story of determination with future dreamers. Do you think you can do it? I think you can do it. It's so much about Kansas and Kansas basketball, but there's so much more to it. You know, it's, it's about believing in yourself, about your family and, and teamwork. When rejection comes your way, when obstacles come your way, what you, how you react to them is what makes the difference. And that is how dreams come true, you know?